Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this tags input using react.js. So basically what's happening is here you have an input, you can type anything. So for example, let's just say hello and you can press enter and one tag will be added and you'll be able to also remove the tag and everything will be responsive also. So we'll be creating this using react.js. You might have seen this type of input in for example, YouTube studio, GitHub and many other websites. So this is very useful. So let's see how we can create this. So first I'm going to open up my terminal. And then we're going to create a new react project by typing npx create dash react dash app and since i'm already in this folder called tags input i'm simply going to say period hit enter and this will start creating a new react project in this folder so let's wait for the installation to finish okay so the installation is now complete so now we can simply say npm start and this should start our development server and as you can see now our project is shown in this window here at localhost colon 3000 so let's start building our app so first i'm going to go to the, our source folder and then i'm going to delete all the files except for the index.js and the app.js so let me delete all the files real quick okay so now we have deleted all the files except for these two files so now let's go to our index.js so here from here we can delete this report web vital delete the css import delete these lines as well save it now let's go to our app component from here we don't need the logo or app css our function for now let's just say we'll say hello world save click on refresh and now we just have this hello world app okay now let's create a component for our tags input which which will be our this input here so let's say in our source folder we're going to create a new file inside a components folder so first we're going to have a folder called components Inside that, we are going to have a component called tags input .js. and then we are going to say function tags input return. For now, it can just return a simple div, and let's say this will also say hello. And then we are going to have to say export default. So we are going to say export default tags input like so so now we can use it in our app component so let's go to our app and first thing we have to do is import the tags input so we're going to say import tags input from dot forward slash components forward slash tags input like so so now we should be able to use it so we're going to use it here let's say tags input like so save and it simply says hello above that we're going to also have a h1 so actually h2 so h2 and this will simply say this text here so enter some text so let me just copy this Control c and we can paste it like so so now we have this text here also okay now let's style them so for the styles in our source folder let's create a new file we can call it style.css and let's import import it in our index so here we are going to say import we want to import dot for slash style.css so style.css save Okay, this should be style.css, not style, sorry, save. Okay, now in our style.css, first we are going to say target everything and we are going to say margin 0, padding 0. So margin 0 and padding will also be 0, like so. Then we are going to target our HTML and our body. And we are going to say both of them will have a height of 100%. After that, we are going to target our body. And we are going to say body will have a display of flex. So we are going to say display of flex and we're going to say justify content to center oops we're going to say justify content to center and we're also going to say align items to center if we were to save it now everything is centered like so okay let's try to change the font family so we can say font family you can change to any font you want so i'm going to just choose this one randomly save and this is how this look like let's also say our body will have a font weight of bold so we can say font weight of bold like so so this is how this looks like so far okay now we want to create this layout so first we are going to go to our tags input let's give it a class of tags input container so we are going to say class name equals to tags dash input dash container like so so let me just copy the class control c and we can go to our style.css here we can paste it so dot control v so first thing we are going to have some border so we're going to say border border can be let's say two pixels solid 
for now let's just say hashtag 000, 000 like so black and this is how this looks like we also need some padding so we can say padding of let's say 0.5 em like so let's say this will have some border radius also so border radius the border radius can be let's say 3 pixel and let's give it a width so we are going to say width and for the width we are going to use the min function so we are going to say min and we are going to say 80 viewport width and 400 pixel actually let's say 600 pixel so the width will be by default it will try to be 80 viewport width but if 80 viewport width is greater than 600 pixel it will just be 600 pixel so 600 pixel will be the max width so now it is responsive like so okay let's also add some margin tops to add some gap between the text so you can say margin top let's just say 1 em and this is how this look like so far okay so after that we are going to have some tags so these tags here so for now i'm going to statically type some tag later on we'll be making them dynamic so let's have another div let's give it a class name so class name we're going to call it tag item so inside that we're going to have two span so span like so let's give it a class name of text so class name equals to text this will simply contain the text so let's just say hello after that we're going to have another span so let me just copy this one let me close the sidebar Control b to close and this one we're going to call it close class will be close so this will be this close button here and for that you can just use x this will work or you can say and sign times so and sign and then times semicolon and this will give us the close icon as you can see we have this close icon here okay let's just copy the class and let's try to style it so let me copy this go here paste it let's give it a background color first of all so background color and let's try to choose a grayish color let's try this or even lighter like so yeah this should work and now our tag item will have a display so we're going to say display of inline block for now let's just say inline block like so let's give it some padding so we're going to say padding the top bottom can be let's say 0.5 em and for the left right we're going to say 0.75 em like so let's also give it some border radius so we can say border radius of let's say 20 pixel and this is how this looks like okay now let's target the close icon so we're going to say dot tag item and the close inside that so this one let's just say the height will be 20 pixel the width will also be 20 pixel let's give it a background color of this color and we can change it let's change it to like this color or even lighter like so okay now this one also needs to have a display of inline block so we're going to say display inline dash block like so and the color will be white so color equals to hashtag fff so this is how this looks like okay now we are also going to say this one will have a border radius of 50 percent so this is a circle we can also say text align to center this will center the text actually instead of saying text align center what i'm going to do is go up and copy these three lines of code and then we can paste it here Control v save and now we don't need this display of inline block here we are already saying display to flex instead of flex we are going to say inline flex so this is how this look like okay let's also give it some margin on the left side so margin left of let's say 0.5 em and let's try to increase the font size so we're going to say font size let's try 18 pixel and yeah i think this should be pretty close to what we have in our finished project okay let's try to have some more so in our tags input i'm going to simply copy this a few more time save okay let's try to copy this a few more time also this much should be enough okay let me just delete the last one so here are they so after that we're going to have a input and the type will be text so type equals to text and you can add a placeholder or not it's up to you some text input have placeholder text some input does not so in our case we do have a placeholder so we're going to say placeholder equals to for now we can simply say type something so we're going to say type something like so save and this is how they look like very ugly so let's style it now let's give it a class name first so class name can be let's say tags dash input 
like so let me save it let me copy the class control c let's go to our installer css and we can paste it here so first actually we are going to style it later for first let's go to our tags input container and we are going to say this one will have a display of flex so display of flex so flex like so and then we're going to say align items to center so align items center if we are to now save it as you can see everything is squashed in one line so we're also going to say flex wrap flex dash wrap to wrap like so so now this is looking very much very good and then we can also add some gaps so we can save gap and the gap can be let's say 0.5 bm so now we have this little bit of spacing here and then we're going to target our input and our input here will have a flex group one so we're going to say flex flex dash grow and the flex grow will be one so it will take up all the available width okay let's give it some padding on the top and bottom also so I, we're going to say padding the top bottom can be let's say 0.5 em and the left right will be zero okay now we're going to say this will have border of none and outline of none so border none and the outline will also be none so outline equals to none so right now this is panning across the entire row here but if we were to change our screen size so for example we can make this this much and now as you can see our input is here and our tag is here so this is responsive and the layout is also dynamic okay so now what i'm going to do is go to our tags input i'm going to delete all of this except for one i'm going to keep one for reference so i'm going to comment this out so by default we'll only have this input after that here we're going to have a state so i'm going to say import we want to import use state from react like so and then we're going to say const tags actually in square bracket tags and then set tags equals to by default it will be an empty array okay so after that in our input we're going to add an event listener so we're going to say on key down we're going to run a function called handle key down And then we're going to create that function so we're going to say function we called it handle key down and here we're going to receive event as argument like so and here we're going to say if e dot key is not equal equals to enter so instead of this we're going to say if this is not equals to enter then we are, we don't want to do anything so we're simply going to say return otherwise we're going to say const value equals to event dot target dot value and then we're going to say if exclamation mark value dot trim so if the user haven't entered anything or if the user only have added some space we don't want to do anything either we just want to return otherwise we can say set tags and then here we're going to pass an array and the value of this array will be we're going to use spread operator to have our previous tags and then we're going to add the value later like so so we're adding the value as a new tag in our tags array like so so now here instead of this we can say we can say tags dot map we're going to get tag and we're going to get the index and then we can just copy this so control c and we can paste it here control v let me fix the indentation and here instead of hello we're going to simply show our tag so you can say tag okay let's try to type something here so for example let's just say hello hit enter and now we have this tag one tag and so let's say something else okay let's also clear the input after it is after we press enter so here we are also going to say e dot target dot value equals to an empty string like so save and now if we were to say something like let's just say html and hit enter html is added and now our input is set to nothing input value is cleared like so so everything is working so now we just have to make sure that when we click on this button this tag gets deleted from our input array so let's see how we can do that so let's create a function called remove tag so function we're going to call it remove tag and this will take index and then the callback function here can take the element and the index and we're simply going to say index is not equal equals to the index passed in our remove fu remove tag function so now we simply have to use this function in our span here so we are going to say on click so on click like so and then we're going to call this function like so oops let me close the sidebar and let me paste the function 
and we are going to pass the index here so we are going to say index also i think we need a key here we forgot to add it so we are going to say key and the key can simply be our index like so save and let's click on refresh and everything should work so let's just say html we can say css javascript hello world bootstrap like so so everything is working and we, sh we should be able to clear this okay let's let's try to make the cursor to pointer here so in our close button let's just also say cursor to pointer like so so now when you hover on them our cursor becomes pointer and if we click on them they get removed so everything is working so this is how you can easily create a tags input using react.js i hope you have enjoyed this video if so don't forget to toss a like and subscribe for more videos just like this and i will see you next time